Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sorry we didn't have all of you over at the dinner program tonight. It done, did run a little over, but uh, it was certainly worthwhile. And we had the opportunity to see Ted Lewis at his best, and I think you're in for a real treat tonight as he comes back to his hometown. Ladies and gentlemen, here's Ted Lewis! Yeah! And my baby's hair is golden you the kind I idolize. And when my baby's near, I'm so happy all the while. For oh, there is nothing in this world just like my baby's smile. When my baby, when my baby cries at me, why my thoughts go wrong, way up there to paradise. Now you're wrong, boys. And when my baby... Ted, this has really been a thrill for everyone in Circleville, and I'm very happy that we can share this with our audience on WLW television and radio. Ladies and gentlemen, how about uh, your number one son's 80th birthday? Are you happy for him? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ted, the citizens have really welcomed you home today, haven't they? I never had such a wonderful welcome. I've played before the kings and queens of England, and uh, it's a lot of my friends in Africa that are here at Cricket Smith's Barbershop years ago. And uh, I want to tell you that it's such a pleasure to be back here. I try to make uh, the pumpkin show every year, and I have made it for quite a few years. In fact, I played for the first pumpkin show when uh, Mayor Haswell was uh, the big shot and they had a little girly show and I played the dance of the seven veils for them. <laughs> you want to know how it goes? Yeah, I'd like to find out. Yeah, you... He ought to know how to do that. He used to play the Vine Street Opera House, didn't he, Claire? the best job I've had. <laughs> <laughs> Ted, I understand from what you said over at the banquet earlier tonight, your birthday party, that when you first went into show business and you went with that kind of an act over at the Lancaster Fair that your daddy came to get you, he wasn't too thrilled with this, was he? Oh, he didn't catch me when I went with that other carnival and spilled for the for the girly girly show. Yeah, did he come? Play a few bars of the Billboard Mars, boys, until I go to the out. Can you, what, you want sure, to oh yeah, I'd love to hear it. <laughs> right. Now that we're all together like one great big happy family, I want to take this wonderful opportunity, ladies and gentlemen, to inform you of the fact that you now have the privilege and pleasure of being in front of 
and gazing at the most beautiful girly girly show on the entire midway of this lovely carnival ground. <laughs> Look at the beautiful paintings we have on the banners on the outside back there, aren't they pretty? <laughs> Look at them, boys, I'll wait for you. That's what I'm trying to tell you. That's what we've got alive on the inside, beautiful girls. Girls who sing, who dance, and do they shake? These young ladies shake like jelly in the wind, storm you in their eyeballs. <laughs> They're hotter than a cowboy's pistol on the 4th of July. And my guarantee, any man, woman, or child who comes out of there who isn't entirely satisfied, the same thing, billboard. Try and find me, and I'll be glad to refund your money. Now, there's the box. <laughs> Ted, did you have that hat you're wearing now back then? How old is the top hat you have? Since 1916, it was secondhand when I got it. Did you get it in the hawk shop? It's a long story. <laughs> I won it in a crab game. Did you really? Yes, sir. From my brother Max. <laughs> he got it from Dr. Clark, the old dairyman down here in Circleville. He run the old mill down around Sergeville. His name Joshua Evans, he's a fry. He know a thing or two, you bet your darn neck he do. Can't fool me, cause I'm too darn sly. Well, a swan, I must be getting on. Get up in the podium, it looks like rain. But I'll be switched, the hay ain't pitched. Come over when you're over to that old Sergeville farm again. <laughs> yeah.